Sure? I don't see anything. The devils couldn't have just vanished into thin air. I'm sorry, but even with these binoculars, I can't spot them. Now what do we do? The professor told us to keep an eye on them. Maybe we should split into teams. I'm not sure how that would make it easier. Of course it would. Listen, we're all in earthly form. And with the skills of personification we learned this year, we're thinking and acting like real terrestrials, right? But so are the devils. Now, each of us knows our own terrestrial just as well as we know our rivals, the devils. You can say that again. I actually had a dream about gas last night. A nightmare? That's exactly uh -huh. what I mean. To understand what the devils might be up to, we need to concentrate on what they like and what they think. The same with our terrestrials. You got it. Great idea. Good thinking, Raph. Yeah, it is a <laughs> great idea. I wish I'd thought of that. Uh, excuse me, but I'm afraid I still don't know what we're talking about. It's easy. Concentrate mm -hmm. on Kabale and then you'll find her. Really? Mmm, <gasps> that smell. This neighborhood is full of typical Parisian attractions. Little bakeries, little restaurants, little desserts. If I know gas, this is the right place. Hey, is there a limit here? What do you want now? I'd like another croissant and another chocolate milkshake. Mm -hmm. Big gas. Huh? Mickey, sit down. Want to see the menu? In French. I didn't come here to make a pig of myself. Well, try not to ruin my appetite. Don't worry. I doubt there's any force in the universe as strong as your appetite. <laughs> huh? Here you are, sir. Anything for your uh, lady friend over here? Well, since you're asking, I'll have what he's having. <laughs> there, you see? We're not so different mm -hmm. after all. I wonder where Kabale is. I don't trust that devil. I only wish assuming the role of Lily was easier. That girl dresses like a tomboy. I really need a new look. And to think this city is simply teeming with dress shops filled to the rafters with the height of Parisian fashion. There is no point drooling over that skirt. Uh, it would look lousy on you. Kabale! Truth be told, I've got much better taste in fashion than you, and that dress was made for me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go march into that store and try it on. But how would you pay for it? So who said I'd have to pay for it? Come on! Paris is such a beautiful city. I wish I could just walk around like a tourist instead of searching for Kabiria. If I want to find her, I've got to start thinking like she thinks. What a head! And those what? hair follicles! You mean me? Indeed huh? I am, mademoiselle. Today's my uh. lucky day. Yours is the second best head of hair I've seen in quite some time. The second? You only need a little style, mm. a different shape. You need the master's touch. Uh, uh, come on, come on in, please, please. But, uh, uh, um. Just have a seat. Or just give me a second, my dear. I'll be right with you. But right with me where? Somewhere you don't belong. Nothing can salvage that mop. 
<laughs> I should have known you would have ended up at the hairdressers. Although with that bush on your head, you should have gone to a gardener. Choose your next insult wisely, or I'll make sure you have to wear a hat for eternity. Ready? Oh, my friend is definitely ready, all right. Give her a nice clean shave. Oh, <laughs> It's the artist square! How romantic! It's really an amazing scene, but why was I drawn to it? Solfus would never set foot in a place like this. A portrait, miss? <gasps> Solfus! What are you doing here? Not sure. I wandered here for some reason. Me too! We're personifying Daniel. Maybe he has an artistic side that we don't know about. Maybe. You want your portrait or not? Why is he being so charming all of a sudden? If he thinks we're getting back together, he can forget it. You and I are through, don't you remember? She has every right to be angry at me. I treated her terribly, only because I had orders. Well, sure, as angel and devil were supposed to be rivals, but now we're in earthly form, right? Come on, let me paint your portrait. Since when do you know anything about art? There's always a first time. Come on. All right, make it mm -hmm. fast. Well, what are you waiting for? Show me. Oh, I don't know. It's just that... All right, just how bad is it? Did you say bad? <gasps> My dear, this portrait is simply a masterpiece. There's something hmm. extra special about it. Such feeling, such passion. Then it has to be love. Hmm. You can tell by the look in his eye that this artist is in love with his model. <gasps> Brawl and Cassidy were right. The bond between Raph and Sulphus is incredibly powerful. It shouldn't be very difficult at all to convince Sulphus to give her this pendant. I hmm. just have to find the right moment. Hmm? Uh, maybe it's better if we go back to the autosphere. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe it is. Hmm. Didn't you say that dress fit me like a glove? But I never said I'd help you steal it. Guess. <laughs> Since when did you start getting so cozy with angels? No problem. She's useful. Gas ate so much food that he can barely stand up, much less walk. Huh? Hey, where have you been? The first one of you who says anything funny about my hair will live to regret it. That goes double <laughs> for me. <laughs> So, are we all accounted for? Raph is still missing. And so is Selfus. Hmm? Well, speak <sighs> of the devil. Hey, what's wrong with her? Hmm, maybe romance is in the air. Stop it. Don't even uh -huh. joke about such things. Raph is completely mm -hmm. over Selfus. Everyone inside! Our next stop, Istanbul. All right then, the first place that we'll visit in this wonderful city will be... Some boring monument? Perhaps another musty old art gallery. Or maybe a decrepit statue. <laughs> <laughs> I never met such ingrates, Gnosis. How true. Trainees, interrupting an angel professor is exactly what uh, you should be doing more often. Great. 
In, <laughs> in any case, you're mistaken because the place we're heading to is the Grand Bazaar. Trade is an essential part of the culture of these terrestrials, and the Grand Bazaar is the largest covered market in the world. Inside, you'll find magnificent frescoes on the walls, floors, and ceilings. And of course, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of tiny shops that specialize in every product you can think of, like carpets and ceramics. And jewelry and spices. And because the market is always very crowded, it's easy to get lost, so it's essential that we all stay together. Typical huh? teenagers. We're too old for this. Oh. Hmm. Okay, check it out. Locum. You know what that stuff is? Yeah. It's a traditional huh? Turkish sweet made from starch and sugar. I'm an expert on them. They come in all different flavors like water, rose, and almonds. <laughs> Some even have a layer of coconut sprinkled well, on them. Well, Gas may not be an expert on every subject. But this subject? No one in the world knows more about snacks. <laughs> this market is the ideal place to present the pendant. I just have to find an opportunity. These scarves are really amazing. Let's take some of them with us. But I don't have any money. I said let's take some of them with us, not let's buy some of them. You distract the angels while hmm. I take the scarves. <laughs> Uri, mm -hmm. why don't you get out your camera and take a nice picture of me with my friend Sweet? Are you being serious? Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you! What are you doing? Let's get out of here! Come back here! Come on, let's go! <laughs> What's going on? Time for explanations now! Moment to grow up is there, and so she.